Hey guys, since upgrading the 3D printer to the Bowden Extruder and the E3D version 6 hot end, I've successfully been able to print um, what I think are complex prints. So these are an assortment of gears that I've downloaded from Thingiverse. Um, uh, and with this setup, they have all printed successfully and I'll go over them with you now. Uh, first up, we have uh, this item which is called the Nautilus Gears. Um, this is four individual pieces, so we have two matching gears and we also have a, a top and bottom um, locking pin. And um, yeah, this is printed with PLA plastic, uh, three perimeters, um, three top and bottom uh, layers. And um, yeah, this was a uh, complete success. Uh, first go with very minimal cleaning involved. So I was quite happy with, um, with the result with this one. And next up, we have the gear bearing. Um, this particular item on Thingiverse is customizable. Uh, customizable meaning you can adjust the height, uh, you can adjust uh, the width, and you can also adjust uh, the number of planets um, uh, orbiting the, the, the central gear here. Um, also, you can adjust the tolerance, the tolerance between um, each of the items um, as they print. Because this prints as one piece, the tolerance um, is a good test of the performance um, of your printer, especially the, uh, uh, the accuracy uh, of the layers. And um, I must admit, um, I'm very happy with the result from this. Um, this is uh, spinning quite, uh, quite freely. Um, when, when this finishes printing, it is one solid piece. It doesn't actually move. You do need to, to crack this, but um, I was successfully able to crack it, thankfully. And um, yeah, I'm very happy uh, with, the, with the result from, from, from this item. Um, there is one sticky spot um, about, about there. There must be a bit of plastic lodged in one of the gears somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it is. Is, but uh, uh, not to worry. Um, this is a this is a great piece. This is testament, I guess, to the to the accuracy now of the Bowden um, and the E3D hot end uh, on this printer. So if you're having uh, issues printing this, um, uh, probably best to look at either a different hot end or uh, a different uh, extruder setup. Uh, so this particular one was just downloaded direct off the website. I didn't go into the customizer and, and customize anything. This is just a stock standard STL. Um, and, and yeah, it worked. Before I actually printed this though, um, months ago when I first acquired this printer, my first attempt was this little job here. So this was printed um, at 0.3 millimeter layer height. All these newer items that I'm printing are at 0.2 millimeter layer height. Um, this is with the uh, black ABS that came with the Replicio kit. And for the life of me, when I tried to print um, the STL that came from the Thingiverse website, so as it is, so a tolerance of point 1.5 millimeters between um, all the different items. Uh, I was not able to crack it at all. It was one solid piece. So it took me a couple of goes, but this one here that I was able to crack was at 0.6 millimeter tolerance, the tolerance between the items. And I was able to crack that and it was able to print. Great. Um, unfortunately, because of the tolerance is so, so lax, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of movement uh, there. So, um, that was that was my my first experiment at uh, printing with a printer, and I've, I guess I've I've come a long way, and um, yeah, the the patience and uh, everything has has paid off. So quite happy with that. Um, this other one that I've printed here, because of my uh, initial um, experience with printing that one, I was a bit um, cautious. So the first time I, I printed this again with the Bowden and, and the E3D. Um, was at 0.3 millimeter tolerance. So um, double um, the tolerance of this one. And this one spins ever so freely. This is like a, definitely like, like a bearing, this one. There's no sticky spots at all. Um, there's a little bit of wiggle on this one, as you'd expect for having a, uh, a gap of 0.3 millimeters between each of, the, each of the items here. But this one here, having the gap of 0.15, it is rock solid. There is no way I am um, inducing any um, actual uh, axial movement at all into this, into this bearing. So yeah, once again, um, that's testament, I guess, now to the uh, quality and accuracy of this particular printing setup. 
And next up we have the Tiny Planetary Gear Set. Um, this particular item uh, is printed in individual pieces and then um, uh, snapped together and, and then screwed together with these um, uh, plastic nuts and, nuts and bolts that's part of the kit. Um, this is a 4 to 1 gear uh, reduction, so for every uh, four turns of the crank you will get um, one rotation from the shaft. Um, this particular item is a great showpiece actually because um, once again it um, demonstrates the accuracy of of the printer now. Um, just being able to print all these pieces individually and then kind of you know snap and screw them together and then make a like a functioning uh, working uh, gear in this instance um, is that's just that's just amazing. I'll wrap with this particular piece and this is a, a great showpiece to show everyone um, uh, you know that comes over that sees this 3D printer. What can you print? Well. I can print, you know, this. <laughs> it uh, kind of, you know, blows people away. So, uh, yeah, uh, very happy with this piece. Um, I haven't uh, printed another set of these because um, with these particular uh, gears, you can stack them. So if I had a, a second uh, four to one uh, gear ratio um, that I could attach here, so I'd have two sets of these. It not, not, it wouldn't be four to one anymore. It would be sixteen to one. So it would take, you know, sixteen turns of the of the handle here for one rotation of the shaft uh, coming out the front. Uh, that would mean that the the torque um, coming out of the shaft would be um, extremely, you know, strong compared to the, um, you know, the torque that you're putting in via the crank. Uh, however. You know, the, the plastic material lets it down, I guess, as being the weakest link in that regard. Um, yeah, so this is printed with uh, ABS. This is all the Australian ABS stuff. Um, 0 0.2 millimeter layer height with 30% uh, infill. Um, and yeah, uh, very happy with this piece. So um, the next video I'll be showing the uh, quadcopter frame that I've pretty much finished. I've gone through a few iterations of it. Um, I'll give you a quick look at it now. So this is part of it that I've, uh, that I've assembled. Um, I have um, enhanced uh, the, where the arms attach to the main body. Uh, I had a few crashes with some previous iterations of this. And the weakest link is not the arm, in fact, it's actually the main body. The main body seems to be happy to break away with the arm kind of thing. So this is um, you know, revision, uh, revision 3 and I'll be going over this in another video. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and uh, speak to you soon. Bye.